Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today I'll be showcasing some clips on my Mythic Rally Trap, which is now a Mythic Champ Rally Trap because I have completed my first Mythic Champ piece on this account. Also, I also have uh, another Mythic Cup on this account as well, so it's technically full Mythic now. But at the time, I did not have that. I only had a Gold Cup and no Mythic Champ on the account, but it was mostly full Mythic still. So anyways, uh, this is an interesting situation because I actually got soloed and I was not baiting a solo attack. I was uh, basically doing the shield bot trap where you just drop your shield and then hopefully someone comes and rallies you. That's what was going on here with my shield drop. This guy decided to port on me and actually solo me i was 600 million might so i know the game has changed a little bit but i wasn't expecting uh to be soloed at 600 mil might without actually baiting a uh solo attack because i wasn't doing a thousand iq trap i wasn't doing the doppelganger trap or anything like that uh, this guy decided just to come in and solo me so i ended up getting his leader so now i have one of the leaders so what happens now is obviously they have to try to rally me to get their leader back and that is what's going on here uh on dark will be the rally lead pretty decent rally lead 256 artifact stars uh with uh 80 something artifact or sorry uh, normal stars, uh, castle stars, <laughs> forget what they're called, but yes, the castle stars, so it's a decent lead, uh, not a, not a crazy strong, like, 160 plus castle star guy or anything like that, like, max account, but still quite strong, uh, nonetheless, I will be taking, uh, mixed tier 5 reinforcements for this account, and I also asked for a garrison, usually just tier 2 garrison, like a mixed garrison is all I really need, all it's to do is to knock any fodder out that they actually send in front. So if you guys are ever rally trapping, asking for a garrison is actually really good because it will get rid of the fodder, will make it less chance of them walking back. Uh, you don't need tier 4 or garrison or anything like that, just uh, tier 2 is totally fine. Anyways, so they are sending it in. Um, I was already in the right formation, all this is going to do is switch to my war gear, switch back. Hopefully they didn't see my gear swap, that's all I was hoping there. I uh, was able to cap that pretty easily. Already knew what they were sending because they had an open scout. Uh, what that means is if the rally leader uh, doesn't have an anti on, you can actually see exactly what they are sending. This guy actually had great gear. He was, what is this, like five piece mythic champ on his gear. Um, tempering on his other stuff, so it wasn't a slouch by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, only did 700k to my front line, and uh, his pack fives did what was it like 800k or something like that. So that uh, was actually a really easy take. You can see at this time I also had a way, way, way smaller comp than I'm currently running. I might do a little bit of an account review at the end of this video, just so you can see what I'm currently running. But yeah, this time, very, very, very small account. Um, yeah, so I also forgot to heal. So uh, the problem with uh, rally trapping some of these like uh, Asian guilds and stuff like that is the time difference is really weird for me. So I'm usually trapping them at like uh, 11 o'clock at night, 1 a.m. at night. Um, I think some of these, I think the other rally I take from this like later on is at like 7 o'clock in the morning when I was still sleeping. So got a call, woke me up, took the rally, but you, you know when you first wake up, you're not exactly the most awake. So it's really hard to actually think about doing things sometimes or just remember to do stuff that you normally would just automatically do. And that's what I what I tell you guys when you are trapping. Just, just make sure you do all the, go through your checklist all the time. Sometimes I even forget to do that. But this one, I just forgot to heal. But um, that, it's not too bad because the Sanctuary is around. Uh, I'm only losing like 60% of those anyway, so... Again, it's not the worst thing ever, but this time I will heal and actually take the next rally. So I'm just going to port to the corner because again, they're trying to get their leader back. I'm not a massive account, so they, they think if they keep trying to rally me, they'll eventually get through my troops and burn me, which is honestly could be the case because I only have 20 million troops at this point. Not a huge front line, actually quite small, like five, five mil of each tier two is not a big front line. So um, if they were to set a double, I would, might be in trouble just because... Sometimes you can't counter everything in a double, and uh, there's a higher chance of getting walked back. I also didn't have a massive front line at this, or back line at this time. I had only like 1.3 mil of each tier 4, and like 500k of each tier 5. So obviously with reigns I get like 800k of each tier 5. So not tiny, but not huge or anything like that. So uh, same thing, going to be taking uh, mixed tier 5, uh, hopefully getting a uh, tier... Uh, 
a tier two garrison, but I think someone sent me a tier four garrison this time. So um, it's it's up to you if you really want to send a tier four garrison. It's just more expensive to heal, so that's why I don't suggest it. Tier two is usually okay to take out the fodder. Uh, if you're sending tier four, sometimes you can even take out some of the actual rally itself. So obviously will help the actual uh, defense here. Uh, 20 seconds to go. I should be set up per perfectly. I should be in the formation that I'm planning on taking a rally from. So if you have a certain formation you like better, I personally like range wedge. So I just sit in range wedge and then try and counter from there. This one I'm going to throw the warrior on just a little bit quicker here so I can actually just counter it quickly because I don't know what they're sending. It is going to be a cab one. And then what I should be doing is uh, porting away right away, but I hit the castle skin. So <laughs> then I misclicked like three times. I'm just like, ugh. Anyways, settle down, pour it, throw on the gear. Again, they probably saw my gear that time, so I was like, ah, dang it. <laughs> dang it. I missed my, I misclicked like three times. I think I misclicked on the screen uh, trying to hit the right thing. But again, sometimes it's just fat fingering it, but whatever. Anyways, uh, that guy only did 600k. But as you can see, I think the garrison took out some of the troops, so it wasn't so bad. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, they did... Uh, they did very little damage to me. Didn't give me any reds on that rally, which kind of makes up for the previous rally. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on. Oh, I know what happened. I, I caught the guy in the wrong gear. So uh, what happened was he was trying to bait me to go cav or something, I think, because he was in his range gear. Um, I'm not sure why he was trying to bait me to go cav on that one or infantry. Which, which one was he trying to bait me to go? He was, he was in his range gear, I think. Yeah, range gear, so he was trying to bait me to go infantry, actually, and he was sending cav, but um, obviously it didn't carpet fast enough, and personally, I never look at the rally leads gear, what they're sending, I just check the watchtower, so it doesn't really do anything, um, so yeah, <laughs> so in that situation, it really won't fake me out, but maybe other people who just check the gear and be like, oh, he's in range gear, must be going range or go infantry, but they're sending cav, so I think they tried to bamboozle me there, but... Obviously, when I trap, I don't check their war gear. All I do is go and uh, check what what's actually coming, and I saw what was coming, so I swapped it. Wait, did he have? No, it was it was he sent infantry. So I don't know why he was in range gear trying to switch get me to switch to infantry if he was going to send infantry. Uh, I'm really I'm really not sure what was going on there, but uh, yeah, he sent infantry. Unless he thought he went range, and he just put on the wrong gear. It wasn't a bamboozle. I don't know. Whatever reason, he only did 600k, so it was not a lot. So, yeah. And they also sent tier 2, which is um, also interesting, because usually these big guilds, like, you don't send tier 2 in a rally. You're just, you're making your rally weaker. Like, why, why are you sending the tier 2? You're like, you're trying to, like, shield some of your troops so you don't lose anymore, but you're not really, you're, and then you're just half-assing the rally, and I literally take zero losses, so... Anyways, we're going to move on to the next one. So same guild. I currently have two or three other leaders at this point. I can't remember how many. Uh, their big leader has come online, and he's going to be the rally lead. Uh, this is at like 7 a.m., by the way, uh, my time. So I got a call in the morning, obviously, or I don't normally get up at 7 a.m. I get up around 8 usually. So um, I'm a little groggy at this point, or really groggy at this point. So try, trying to take a rally while you're half asleep. It, it's not the best thing to do and honestly I thought everything was moving way faster than it actually was because normally I'd be able to counter the rally that's coming in but I was just so slow but anyway so at this point I thought um, I'm just waiting for the see the thing I thought I like um, lagged or something like that because it, it said 10 seconds I'm like it's been more than 10 seconds so I'm just sitting on here uh, waiting and I'm like is, are they just like slow? Do they have a timer or something like that? Should I switch off? Because if I switch off and they send the rally, then I'm in trouble because I got to switch back to the screen. So I'm just like continuing to sit here and just like, hmm, are they sending the rally or not? Like no one in my guild has actually said anything either. So I thought, oh my God, I, I lagged out. They've already hit me. I come out and it's like, oh, the rally is canceled. Okay. That's totally fine. Uh, that's better than lagging out and getting completely destroyed. Because uh, I am sending my fake gear, and my fake gear is not very good. I don't have proper jewels or anything like that. But they did reset the rally, so uh, eight, or eight, or Hey GAG Lee is going to be coming in again. Again, he has like 160 castle stars. Uh, so I knew he was quite strong of a lead. I mean, even the previous lead was pretty good. Uh, not the guy who forgot the switch's gear, but the guy who had 5-piece Mythic Champ is uh, pretty strong as well. 
Uh, but I think this guy's a little bit stronger just because he has uh, pretty much, I think it was max castle stars at this time. Um, it's currently 170 or 175, but at this time it was 160, it was max castle stars. So I thought he was pretty strong. Uh, I'm not sure how much mythic champ he has. I'm not sure if I get the uh, gear on the video or not, but we will take a look here. So nine seconds. Uh, all I'm going to try to do is counter this. We'll try to put the gear on a little bit faster, so just getting ready. As soon as I see the thing, I will put it on. Saw it. Uh, they did carpet. Um, as I was saying here, it's actually moving way slower than I thought. But at the time, I was so tired. Um, I thought they were carpeting so fast in there, and I, for some reason, I thought they were hitting like 75s at the time or something like that. Uh, but looking back, it looks like they were just hitting normal 50% carpets, and they weren't even hitting them fast. But... Like I said, time was like moving way faster for me at the time because I was so tired. But when I was looking back at this, this is something I can normally just uh, counter pretty easily if I was uh, more awake. So I'm like, they went so quick. It was 75. So I was like, looking back now, it wasn't 75. So it was just 50%. And they hit like two of them. And he used his bunny there, got his leader back. So, yep, yeah, decided to pour it out of there after that. Um, I guess he didn't want to go in for a second one. But I guess we got this scout as well. So, uh, anyway, so, uh, again, I was in range wedge for that attack. So it did do quite a bit of damage to me, even though it was in my war gear. Again, range wedge is not very good against range. And if you've ever seen a range wedge, uh, it's pretty obvious why they throw your infantry all the way in the back, so you're doing less damage to the rally from that. But I still have three of their leaders, so they will have to come back and get me again, uh, which probably will be in a part two. I think I'll put that in a part two, because I want to do a quick overview of this account uh, before we actually uh, do that, just so you can see what's going on now, where my stats are, all that stuff. Uh, currently on the account, because it's nice to do a little update on it. Uh, you can see I didn't actually get his war gear on the uh, the video. I was just kind of worried about actually countering it, but he switched out of it after that. Because unfortunately, uh, he used his bunny and I did not cap it. But yeah, you can see here, he did quite a bit of damage to my, uh, my front line there. Just back on the account. So just do a little quick overview of what I have currently. Uh, you can see the difference of what I'm running. So obviously, I've increased my front line. I've increased my back line. Uh, increased my tier 5 account, especially in range there. So I uh, haven't increased too much of my uh, infantry and cav tier 5. But I'll be working on that pretty soon. Because I think I'll be adding more tier 5 to the account. But I have a way bigger front line. Or way bigger back line. Uh, especially when range. Because I will be sending more infantry nowadays. Uh, go infantry wedge. So if I do get countered by cav, hopefully that will go better than last time, which I lost like 10 million troops. Anyway, so um, again, I've also increased my stats. Actually, the best way to do this without actually uh, putting my war gear on is actually to go to uh, this and go to the mix stage. And I can actually just check my war gear without putting it on. Because again, bots nowadays, they put your war gear on, they pick them, and then I have to actually go uh, like change it up, all that after that. So, oops, I hit the auto configure. That's not what I want to do because it messes up this. Ah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I don't have to redo the stats. I totally messed it up. I, I always forget which ones here. So you can see the uh, my stats uh, with my war gear on. This is what it would normally look like. Um, on the account currently, I have, what is it, 538 infantry, uh, 591 range, uh, 530 cav. Uh, you can see the HP and defense on there too. Infantry defense is higher, so I will be sitting in infantry a lot more. Uh, same with infantry HP is actually similar to my range currently. Um, ignore my HP right here because it has nothing in talents currently. So it's basically just my base HP without uh, my talents on. I'm not going to switch that. It's it's around 500 if I put everything on. I'm also missing eight infirmaries currently because I was just building some troops. So uh, that would normally even be 40% higher than that currently if I had full infirmaries. Uh, my army attack is at 213. And my army defense is 273. Uh, keep in mind, I don't have an ultra boost either. So uh, if I had an ultra boost, uh, that army defense would be quite high. Uh, where, how do you check gear on here again? One second. Is it this? No, that's that one. Uh, <laughs> I always forget how to check gear on here. One second. Talents, heroes. What, what's this one? That's formation. Oh yeah, by the way, formation. If you're if you're wondering why range wedge is bad against uh, range, it's because your infantry are way in the back and it takes them a long time to run to the front. That's pretty much why range is better against range than range wedge is against range. <laughs> so if you're wondering for formations, cancel. Don't need. It. Okay. Uh, 
Where is the gear button on here? It's not there. Why am I like talents? Oh, your gears. There's my gear. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the gear uh, with the stats here. You can see the stats. Again, pretty high stats. Um, currently full jeweled on there. Just a couple champion jewels in there. Have a single champion piece as my main hand. Uh, I'm going to be going for champion boots next, I'm pretty sure. So I'll decide which one I want to go there. Uh, based on my current comp, I kind of want more range attack just because it is the thing that counters my front line. But uh, if I go if I got range boots, my range attacks will be way higher than everything else. Um, currently have 170% army HP on the gear, which is pretty good. 33% army attack. So if you see my stats, they're actually technically 33% higher than what you're showing there, just because you got the army attack in the uh, champion and in the scroll. And again, the scroll will be the next piece I also change for another mythic cup when that happens. Uh, currently working on that with Tycoon, and then army defense is 81%, so still pretty good army defense. So again, that's pretty much the account currently. We'll be getting stronger, all that stuff. We'll be taking some more hits. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming out. Anyways, hope you guys had a great New Year's, and I'll see you guys in the next one.